is two years since the Uganda Trade Show and Exhibition here at Uma Grounds was hosted as a result of COVID-19 that of course put in place different restrictions. The event provides different manufacturers, traders an opportunity to showcase their products to new customers and even the old ones. As we speak, this year's event has attracted a considerable number of first-time exhibitors. Maureen Nice, the Chief Executive Officer of Gen Organics Limited, and who's also a first-time exhibitor, hopes to generate brand awareness for her product, which has been on the market for three years now. This is an eczema moisturizer. It's for babies above six months. Main objective is to push our brand out there. We are very happy to uh, advertise Gen Organics more, to be able to let people know what we are doing. Uh, and of course to make some sales. For Brian Semander, the founder of Brian Naturals, he was inspired to join the exhibition to create a safe space for people to share and also find solutions to their sexual problems. Men want to, don't be quiet, don't be like as if you're extracting gold, speak and express how you feel. Here in Uganda we don't talk about sex easily, people are ashamed to talk about sex and me I talk about it easily, tell them it's okay to talk about it because you can't die. People are depressed because of their sexuality. So me, I'm open to speak about it and of course provide solution. And as certified herbalist as I am, I provide herbal solutions that are helping them. Of course, teach them how to eat the right way because there's a very thin line between sex and wellness. <laughs> John John Jacob, a consultant with the International University of East Africa, hopes that together with his students, their first time at Oma Show Grounds will be a breeding space for collaboration. We want to collaborate with most of the people who are here from foreign countries to come and set up their small uh, labs, their small innovations at the university where students can collaborate, connect and have first-hand experience. NTV also spoke to Guru Nanak Oil Mills, a company that has been exhibiting their products for 10 years. They manufacture shea butter, getting their raw materials from northern Uganda. We are very excited to be back to this trade show. One, we hope to get more clients, but God, the past two years we have not been having clients. That's what makes it unique, because we have different, different kinds of people. Someone who came last year could be not the same person who is coming this year, so the products are exposed. The expo attracts a wide range of people and for Catherine Norris, our student art sent Chizito Kabua International, the expo has always provided her with an opportunity to learn about business and also purchase products at a cheaper cost. So I really wanted to see which companies were they, how they sell out their products, how do they manage, do, when you request for a job, what have, what conditions do they want for someone so I wanted to know how because I really want to be that real business lady that the world will want to talk about. This expo will run up to the 10th of October and is expected to attract more than 900 exhibitors including international participants from 25 countries. Sandra Twinobrio reporting for NTV Tonight.